Newcomer Century fan. Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be covering how to set up your LLC, your business entity. Before you continue, make sure that you go to our YouTube channel, click subscribe and turn on notifications bell. We're always uploading new content regarding dropshipping, e-commerce, how to get funding for your business and just uploaded one of our last videos on how to invest if you have no money. So make sure you go and check that out. Now, because of that video, a lot of people started asking us, hey, that sounds good. I know we're trying to save, but we're not inside your training. We don't know what you teach and we don't know how to set up our LLC. We don't know how to set up our business in order to be able to invest without having money. So I decided to make a video showing you guys how to set up an LLC, how to integrate your business and why do it and what are the benefits. So without further ado, make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications bell and let's get into it. All right, so first thing first, I always have this disclosure here, I'm not your financial advisor, I'm not telling you to do anything because I don't know your financial situations, therefore I cannot give you advice. This is just what I've done and I do this for entertainment purposes. I am not quick to advise you on what you should or you should not do. All right, first thing first, what is an LLC? An LLC is a way of integrating your business. LLC stands for Limited Liability Company and I'm gonna read now a few points describing what it is and some of the benefits. Now, let's get to it. You can pause this video, you can take some notes. I'm gonna read it for you guys. First thing first, personal liability protection. Any creditors who come knocking about lawsuits filed against your business can affect you personally. You can rest assured that no matter what happens in the business, your family's assets are safe. Business liability protection, an LLC, is one of the only entities that prevents personal lawsuits and creditors from liquidating your business. No separate tax returns with a standard LLC. The business profits and losses are reported on your personal tax returns. No double tax action, which is pretty good. With a standard LLC, the business profits and losses are reported again on your personal tax returns. No ownership restrictions. You can have as many owners as you need. Even other entities can also be owners. So even other LLCs can also be owners of the LLC that you're setting up. No management restrictions. Owners can manage and managers can own as well. It is your choice. Flexible tax status. You can choose from a multitude of ways to be taxed depending on what works best for your situation. And it is something that you have to discuss when the moment comes with your accountant, your CPA, at flexible profit distributions. You decide what percentage of the profits to give to whom, no matter how much of the company the person actually owns. Now, these are some of the benefits and a little more of a description of what an LLC is, so make sure you read that through as many times as you need. And if you need to do more research on it, make sure you go to YouTube, you research, you ask your accountant, you ask your financial advisor, so you can be better prepared but this is basically what an LLC is and what it can do for you. Quick note here, it is important to age your LLC and start building credit as early as possible. The longer the length of the history and age of the LLC, the more lenders will trust your company to repay the debt. Once you have established a good credit and aged the LLC, you will be able to completely separate your personal credit from your business credit accounts. Now, let's get into the nitty gritty. Let's get into the good stuff while you're here in this video, which is actually incorporating your LLC. So let me break something down for you guys uh, first. It's gonna be different on every single state that you incorporate your LLC in. The state that I've done this the most times for my students, for myself, for my clients, is in Florida. I do provide this service. If you want me to set up your LLC in Florida, I'll do that for you. There are certain fees that are charged for it, but I guarantee that I know what I'm doing in this case. I'm used to doing it in Florida and I will also get you started with your EIN number. That's if you want me to provide the services for you, feel free to reach out through my DMs underscore please in the past or my business page at e-commerce century. And I'll get back to you with more details, but there's a way for you to do it yourself. And I'm going to show you guys right now. So first thing you want to do, you want to incorporate your company, right? So right now you probably have, uh, a name idea, but that's not really a business, that's not really a company unless it is already incorporated. So I'm gonna read through just so you guys have a little more uh, content, but after that, I'm gonna break it down for you. 
So first thing first, set up a business entity or make sure your existing entity is set up correctly. It's best to build business credit with an LLC or corporation, S or C Corp. You don't need to worry about this right now. When establishing your e-commerce store, it is also better to run it under your business. Although it is not required for eBay, it will add more credibility for you and make your life easier overall. Creditors, suppliers, lenders, etc. prefer to see an actual business entity. In addition, a corporation or an LLC is treated as a separate legal as a separate legal entity which separates you personally from the liability of operating your business. It's very important. Be sure to compare each entity so you can see the difference between the most common and now I relate this a lot to e-commerce because it's what we do on the channel. I help people set up their eBay e-commerce store and the whole eBay e-commerce business. So I'm always relating what I teach to e-commerce and how you guys can implement that inside your business. Now, if you want to raise your, your LLC, I'm going to leave this link right here. I'm going to leave it down below in the description. Just click there and it's going to take you to the following website. My LLC is one of the most reputable websites out there for you to set up your LLC. I recommend this website to a lot of my students, everybody who decides to do it on their own. I always recommend this website. They're going to help you out regarding your state and regarding every single different situation that you have. So create an account here with them and for any further questions on how to create and make sure that you reach out to their support, they will have someone with you helping you along the way. Now, you can also ask your accountant and they can do this for you. You can, you can ask. Now, you can also ask your accountant or your CPA and they will do this for you. But know that accountant and CPA, they will charge you to help you set up your LLC, which literally you can get it done yourself. But again, you decide what to do in this case. Let's say that you want to file for a foreign corporation. Guys, if you follow what I teach on my trainings, you do not have to do this because you're setting up your business within your state and you're gonna operate it from there. So this is not for most of you guys, but in case that your business is operating outside the state uh, on which you're filing or you're filing uh, your business outside the state where your business is operating, you're gonna have to file for a foreign corporation and it's gonna be the same thing. Just come to my LLC, the website that we talked about, create an account with them and let them know what you want to do. They will guide you from there. Now, once you have already your LLC set up and approved, you already have your name, you already have everything you need, there's one last thing you need and it is your EIN number. Guys, without your EIN, you're not gonna be able to go anywhere with your business. Why? Because they're gonna ask you for EIN, for credit card applications, loan applications, uh, certain business marketplace applications that will ask for an EIN verification letter. Therefore, you have to apply for EIN. EIN stands for Employer Identification Number, and this is a number that separates you from every other business entity. It's like your social security in real life. This is your EIN for your business. Again, you can ask your account or your financial advisor to do this for you, but you can also go and click the link that I've added down below Go to the IRS website, click where it says apply online. Now make sure when you're going to go ahead and do your application, you're doing it within 7 a.m. and 10 p.m. Eastern time. If not, you will not be able to do it. And just click where it says apply now online and it's gonna lead you to start your EIN application. And this is how you can do it yourself. I'm not gonna get into it in details because this will be more like financial advice and I'm not here to give you any financial advice. I'm not an accountant, I'm not a CPA. I'm just telling you guys what I've done and that, that doesn't mean that it's going to work for you. Now, I do perform this service individually. If you reach out to me through DMs at underscore please in the past or at e-commerce century, we can arrange something and I will help you set up your EIN one-on-one -on -one individually as well as your business entity LLC. Now, if you're this far inside the video, that means you really care about your business, about setting up an entity about that means you really care about your business, you really care about your future in the space. So I respect that a lot, I'm sure. Now everybody's getting to this point in the video, so you should be very proud of yourself. And do not forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the like, hit the notifications bell, because we're always uploading more content just like this, giving you guys a lot of tips on how to build, manage, and scale your e-commerce businesses, 
also, as you see here, how to set up an LLC, how to set up a business founded, etc. And remember, if you want to learn how to start investing with no money, check out the previous video before this one. It's called Just Like That. How to invest with no money. Check it out. Let me know what you think. And if you have any further questions, leave it in the comments. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you share this video with someone that wants you to learn how to set up their LLC. For any further questions, go to ecommercecentury.com and check out the rest of the videos in our channel. I appreciate you for watching and I will see you in the next one.